Hello. Today I'm gonna I'm going to teach you something very important. Maybe this one will be the the most important video you you'll ever see about how to script or create a graphic novel. Uh, why I'm doing this? Because I I think that a lot of you want to create a graphic novel, be it for for pleasure, be it for something amateur or professional. Uh, doesn't matter. The process is the same. And the most important of a graphic novel is not about the drawings, but it's about the storytelling. It's a story that you want to tell to someone else. And sooner or later, if you start just focusing too much on the drawing and not much on the storytelling, it will happen that uh, your your graphic novel will get stuck stuck in some place and you will not be able to advance you will not be able to draw because you will not know what to draw so you you must learn the basics of how to build and plan a whole story then drawing is really really easy once you have do the the homework of of scripting the the graphic novel doing a script is Maybe it's the most difficult thing, the most challenging thing, and the most passionate thing that you are going to do. Because it's, the, it's an exercise of imagination. Drawing uh, involves imagination, but uh, it's an imagination, it's a graphic imagination. Uh, and then you'll have the, the aspect of the, the graphic storytelling with the last thing, which, well, that will require also a learning curve in, in itself. Um, the first thing you must do is to know that your story has a beginning and has an end. And we will partition the, the script in three acts, it's the three act systems. This act, the three act system works uh, this way. You have uh, in the first act an introduction with a question in the second act, you will have like your thesis is the the current idea of something or something that is the status quo or or or, or the the first proposition or idea you are trying to to challenge or to test. Then you have the the exact opposite, this the antithesis, and then at the act three you have the synthesis and the conclusion. So this can be applied to anything in life, you know? And going forward from a question to a conclusion is what makes a character, your, your main character to grow up on the story and the reader to grow up on the story. So ne next time for you is to set up a time frame. I imagine that you are doing not a graphic novel, but you are doing a movie. So how, how much how long will that movie be? Will, will the movie be? Will it be a, a two hours movie? Well, the the, the standard in in, tele, in in movies is like two hours, something two hours and one hundred minute, one hundred twenty minutes, and they are divided this way. They are they are in thirty minutes for the first act, sixty minutes to the second act, and thirty minutes to the the third act. So. What happened? The first act will mostly happen in the ordinary world. W which one is the ordinary world? Where is the, the, the world where you start your, your story? Is the, 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 is the most common world for your character. If your character is an astronaut, the, the most common world for your astronaut character will be space. If your character is a diver, it will be in the ocean diving. If your character is a common person in, on, the, on a city, it will be that city, all right? Then something happens in the act one that moves the, the, the main character to another world. That world could be a dimension, could be, it's it not exactly must be a, a geographical world, but it's another world of, of difficult. For example, if you are, I don't know, going to learn karate or jujitsu or whatever martial art, the moment you step on the tatami, you are entering in another world. 
with another rules, with another pers uh, characters, and another set of difficulties. Uh, inside that uh, new world, there are a ruler. There are some people that is governing that world. There are people that that been a lot more time in that world than your character is going to be there. And some of this character will be willing to help your main character and others will have another plan. So they will in the opposite direction from what your character is trying to achieve. And the the biggest one will be the what we call the villain, the 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 bad guy at the at that other world. It, it mustn't be necessarily bad, but it will be like in opposition to your uh, char main character desires and goals. So the your character desire will be mostly represented on the thesis. The the way the first way your character is trying to approach those goals will be on the thesis, and the villain goals and that he has his own plans will be the antithesis. Have in mind that any character in your whole story will follow this process. So you, you must be able to tell the story uh, from the point of view of any of your characters. Uh, in the Act 3, there will be a synthesis that is a new way of your character to approach to fix or answer that question or fix that problem. And a final confrontation within your character and all that it's representing versus the villain or the, your its enemy or, or or whatever is on the antithesis to create a, a synthesis and a conclusion. Uh, through the the story, you will see that normally the character will cross some portals that will be physical or conceptual portals that take him from first from its ordinary world to the villain world or the, the new world and when it's on the new world it will get deeper into that um, special new world into the villain castle you know the villain is already the enemy is already on the on that world and it's ruling and it has uh, most of the time a base a castle something that is most on on his control and it's like a extension of, of his will and his power. Uh, the first confrontation with the villain will happen on that uh, villain world inside the castle. It will have some first confrontations with uh, uh, weaker assistance first that will encourage the, the character and make uh, mistakenly think that he has a good approach on it. At the villain world, uh, the hero will get his ass kicked. <laughs> it will be defeated by the villain and that will force him to escape or maybe die or all, not die but almost die. The, the reader must think that the hero is like dying and hero must relearn the way to approach that question or fix that problem against the opposition which is the enemy etc the villain so in this part we're gonna see now now why i'm dividing dividing in eight parts the, the whole story uh, the hero will le learn something new this is the classical training montage of the movies or when the the moment when the hero gets help from the master the master that appeared maybe on the on the first part of the story that gave me gave him something special that we we'll later use but during the, the first approach, the thesis, the, the hero that doesn't know how to um, use that special tool given by the the helper, the master, the mentor, mostly is the mentor. And who is the mentor? The mentor is someone that has already done this uh, arc, has already done his own uh, story, but now is just too old or he doesn't care about it or he already got what he was looking for and now he's just a helper because everyone must do its own uh, journey on, 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 on its own story. So the action will be mostly carried by the hero and the hero decisions, and, unless there's a resolution battle. So uh, 
I divide these three acts in eight, eight parts that have uh, the equally equally length of time. And uh, we're also dividing eight parts of equally size in quantity of pages that you are gonna draw. The, the first one will be what I call the inciting incident and the status quo. Then the, the second part will be the set up the predicament and cross the first portal. This is the act one. So on the act one, you, you must focus on this, 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 uh, this kind of uh, uh, part that you, you must uh, take care. Then you move to the, the, third, the third part, it's first obstacles and lock in. Okay, our, our character is on this new world and is getting used to and it's uh, confronting first obstacles that it's a rising action um, part and later on when he he gets lock skin he, he cannot go back okay the the objective of the the third part is that the reader get to know that the 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 hero cannot go back he cannot refuse he must go deep inside a new world and he must not he cannot escape from the villain because he's already messing up things there for the villain so on the fourth fourth part he will have a, a, a first easy victory against the weaker assistant which are an extension of the villain but it will be the, the first one that he's uh, confronting and he keeps moving uh, deeper in that world and finally getting to the center of that world that will be mostly the villain castle or the one the, the place where the villain is residing you know when, when you see those movie about the mafia and the, the hero be is, at that some point is going to the 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 building of the capo mafia and uh, or the gangster or the the kingpin whatever and it, it will have a conversation with uh, the kingpin the, the first the first approach will not be like a, a, a violent approach because the villain will try to convince the hero that the way that is doing things is not the best way for, for the villain, of course, and also not the best way for the, the hero, but because he will be destroyed by him. Um, the antagonist, for the antagonist, he has his own story and he, he looks at himself as a hero too. So in the part five is one of the, 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 the parts that I most likely to draw is when the, 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 the hero is inside its antagonist on the, or the villain or the enemy castle. And there, the it happens something very very important here is the villain subplot you know there is a plot that is a thesis and now here you present the antithesis which is the antithesis is the way the villain is looking at things is the why the villain is explaining why he's a, a, a bad guy or why he's doing that or why he became a bad a bad guy is the the way he have his of its reasoning and and why the hero is messing up things with him and why he must destroy the hero or stop the hero advancing because it will uh, break its status quo, its own plans, the, the own plans, the plans that have the, the villain, you know. Uh, so here is a, a clash of ideas, it's a clash, it's the, one of the most important things of the story is when the thesis and antithesis collides and create the conflict, the great conflict that will create the tension that will move you forward up to the end of the 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 graphic novel so naturally the hero will try to fight there inside the villain castle the villain and uh, naturally the villain will kick us the hero us very hard uh, and the hero will seems that it was a failure it will be a, a a point of drama here you are building drama now the reader must it was it is being becoming identified with the hero and the reader must think and believe that his own ass has been kicked by the villain and must ask themselves how I'm gonna fix this thing, what I'm gonna do next. Naturally here it will be a some kind of scene, an action scene that will be first an action of confrontation, a desperate confrontation uh, and then an escape scene. For you to, I'm gonna give a little spoiler, for you to on Star Wars, to have a reference, here is when uh, Darth Vader uh, 
cat looks hand on the cloud city and looks uh, thinks that he's dying and he just drops himself from the from the tunnel and and, and then later is rescued by the Millennium Falcon and then in uh, on the third act will be Return of the Jedi. Uh, he must relearn things and approach Darth Vader from another point of view to defeat him. He will not defeat Darth Vader just but by confronting him on the uh, lightsaber, which is not laser saber, it's lightsaber, <laughs> on, on a lightsaber, lightsaber battle, but only must also from the inside. You know, this this is a change on the on the story. So here the 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 hero gets away on the part seven to some place secure that will be uh, still in the villain world, but where the hero must. Um, uh, recover from its wounds and its psychological wounds and relearn. This is a, a big twist and is presenting the most important of your storytelling, which is what is what you want to tell the the reader graphically and conceptually about a synthesis. You know, you said it's it's white, no, it's black, no, it's gray. So gray is a synthesis of of the 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 two uh, uh, colliding colors and you will teach the the reader that maybe there is no confrontation but it will be a kind of synthesis you are creating something new conceptually new and this is the, the most richest part of the story and now at the last stage the stage eight you will just put on action and in practice that synthesis you will show graphically be with action how the hero is approaching the same problem uh, on this new way and will fix the the things for everyone it will give an end to the villain or it will transform the villain into a good person or something aligned with the 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 not with the thesis but with the synthesis you know it, the hero must not align the villain to his own ideas it will create a new idea in the synthesis and the the hero and the villain together will get fused in the the new approach and uh, then later in the 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 this is when uh, I, I Darth Vader uh, decides to protect his son and go against the emperor and blah, blah 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 and in the last part it will be the what we call the return of the hero to the normal ordinary world now the hero is no more the person he was at at the beginning he has been a long uh, a long journey so the reader, uh, both the hero and the reader have now new knowledge and they must go back to the beginning, to that ordinary world and uh, it will be a decision to make, a dilemma that is what will I do now with that new power that I have? Will I share it with my people or will I not share it with my people? How will these new abilities that I have will help the other people to get better? So... Um, so these are the, the eight parts that will divide your three act structures and the things that mostly will must must happen uh, on that. Now let's talk about uh, frame time frame. All right, you will have here uh, you will set up here how many pages your story your graphic story will have. You can have like uh, divide each one of these on three or whatever you wish. I, I prefer three parts that for a simplicity. And uh, you, you will set up, okay, this part will have five pages, five pages, five pages. If each one of these one have five pages, so if each one of these eight parts have three parts and each part is about five pages, you are talking about 100 minutes, 120 pages for uh, a 120 minutes story like a movie so you will your time frame of reading will must be like one page per minute all right so if you are doing the double like i'm doing in my uh, current graphic novel you will have 240 pages so that will be a graphic novel that must be read fast and in two hours so the way you are graphic storytelling is in a way that